Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. Something that I've learned for many years in the business world is that the only way you make a life worth living is by having the right people in your life who raise you up and basically allow your own light to shine, while theirs also shines. In life, we have people that don't know how to do that. We have people whose approach in life is, I'm going to piss on you to have power over you. Well, here's the problem with that. It almost never lasts. When you piss on someone long enough with your attitudes and with your abuse, that person will eventually either piss back or simply walk away from you. When you piss on people, you do it sometimes in loving rebuke. I've done that a few times with some of my ladies' friends, and most of the time they'll take it in, but at some point they'll come back and attack, which is foolishness. Because if they did something truly wrong, if they really took away someone's time, if they really didn't value someone's skill sets or their industry, then what they're proving is they don't understand the world today. That their industry is theirs and their industry's roles, rules, and responsibilities are theirs. But someone else's industry's benchmarks and other aspects of their industry are the other person's. And in saying that, we have to be really right in what we do. You see, you can talk all day long to someone and give them all the advice in the world, but they have to choose to receive it. And if they choose not to receive it, then you've wasted a hell of a lot of time. A hell of a lot of time of your time, a hell of a lot of time of their time. And the truth is, at the end of the life that we have and that we lead, what do we want is more time. More time with family, more times with friends, more time with the people that we love until the end. But the truth is in life that when people don't listen, they create a lot more difficulties in life than they really need to hasten to have. In life, we have most of the time to tell people what is real and tell people how we feel. But once you've done that and once you've expressed yourself, then you have to be open to the other person talking back. Take back talk is something I used to talk about a lot. That in order to take back talk, we had to get off our online tools and get into conversations with people that were real. And real conversations often have messy parts. Real conversations often have broken hearts. But the truth about real conversation that it's usually loving and kind. The minute you try to work it to your advantage, to your mind, you're likely to lose.